Hi, physics class. Today we're going to work on solving some problems using Newton's second law of motion. I'm going to do this first video showing you how to do the first problem. I'd like you to try the next few problems on your own. See if you can get the answers that match the answer key that's below this video in today's folder. And if you have some problems with those video with getting those answers, I have some video answers to those problems then following that answer key. But I really think it's best if you try doing a couple of these on your own to get your learning up to speed. Uh, simply just watching me do it's not going to help as much. So please try doing these on your own too. So for our first problem here, I always want you to start with drawing a free body diagram. And we're solving Newton's uh, second law problems. The free body diagram is uh, it's kind of your guidebook, if you will. It helps drive everything when you're solving that problem. So let's look at our first problem. How much tension must a rope withstand if it's used to accelerate a 1300 kilogram car horizontally at a rate of 0.8 meters per second squared? All right, so let's, first of all, let's draw our free body diagram. So when we draw a free body diagram, the first thing I want you to do, we're just gonna draw a little box that represents our object. If you wanna get more fancy, that's fine. But a box is fine, is sufficient for what we're doing. Then we need to draw the forces that are on that object. Well, it tells us one, that's on our, our object, and it's, our, it's an applied force, a tension force. And it says pulled horizontally, so I'm just going to pick a choice and say it's going to go to the right. Now, this is not the only force acting on this, uh, on this car, right? Because we know there's a force down due to gravity. We also know that there's a force up due to the normal force. And how do we know this? Because the car isn't accelerating into the ground or accelerating up off the ground. Right? It's, it's not accelerating up in a vertical direction in any way. So we know that our normal force and our gravitational force are canceling each other out. It's not that they're not there. They are. Just the two of them are equal and opposite, and they cancel out. So now we have our three forces. We know how to use them. What, what's our net force? And Newton's law tells us we want to find our net force. And we know our F normal, Fg, gravity, they're canceling each other out vertically. So the only force we have left is our force in the horizontal direction. And there's only one here. Our problem doesn't mention anything about friction one way or the other, so we're going to ignore it. And we can start off using Newton's law. We're going to say, all right, and what's Newton's law tells us? Newton's law says the first thing we're going to do is start off with our net force. Using our free body diagram, we see that our net force is simply our applied force, our F applied force. And Newton tells us that that net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Mass times acceleration. So let's plug it in. What's our mass? Well, our problem tells us our mass. Right? Problem tells us our mass right here. It's a 1300 kilogram car. It also tells the acceleration. It's 0 0.80 meters per second squared. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers in. 1300 kilograms. And we're gonna, that's our mass. What's our acceleration? 0 0.80 meters per second squared. We're going to multiply those together. Now, what I want you to remember is Newton's involves instead of using grams it needs kilograms so a kilogram meter per second that tells us what our answer is in newtons right, now i've ignored uh, significant figures here to come up with a 10,040. Uh, i'm not going to worry too much about that uh, significant figures in this class just don't give me something that's really off the wall like this is a pretty number but don't give me a number that would have been like 1040.0489248 i mean you, Round it to an appropriate number. It'll make sense to you. I know that's a judgment call, but it'll work fine. So I want you to try problem number two on your own and see if you get the answer in the answer key. If you do not, please go ahead and check out the video that follows the answer key. Try that with all the rest of these here. Thanks, everybody. Good luck.